Hello, guys welcome back to the black metal promotion, if you love black metal make sure to like this video and subscribe to this channel, today's video is about the top 10, female black metal bands, without wasting time, let's start. Number 10 Gallhammer. Gallhammer is a black metal, doom, crust, punk band, formed in Tokyo, Japan in 2003. The band consists of Vivian Slaughter, bass and vocals, and Risa Reaper, drums and vocals. Mika Penetrator, vocal slash guitar, left the band in 2010 before the recording of the third release The End. By 2006, they had released four demos and one full-length LP, Gloomy Lights. In late 2006 they were signed to Peaceville Records. In January 2007 they released a compilation album, The Dawn of Gallhammer which came with a DVD of early live performances in Tokyo. Their album Ill Innocence was released on Peaceville on September 24, 2007 to some critical acclaim. Their music is quite slow, depressing, and dirge-like in the atmosphere, influenced by 80s bands such as Hellhammer, Celtic Frost, Amoebix, and early Burzum. Number 9 Anguished Anguished, creates and performs hymns of this Finnish one-woman howl, with a very unique touch. Their songs are full of suicidal, despair, and sadness but Anguished also shows a side of worshipping Satan with devoted words of dedication to the bleak darkness. As possessed Demoness handles all instruments with the help of a session drummer she also performs the lyrics with soul-piercing shrieks reminding of the early cradle of filth high-pitched screams. This is the debut release of Anguished and proves the band's strength and interesting approach to Finnish black metal. Number 8 Opera 9 Opera 9 is an Italian black metal band with doom, folk, and gothic influences. The band was founded by Ashen in 1988 with Vlad on bass and Flegias on drums. In 1990 the band recorded a demo called Gothic which is unlike their other recordings lean towards the thrash metal genre. The legendary Cadaveria joins Opera 9 as their full-time vocalist. Their next demo called Simply Demo 92 already contained dark, well-composed occult black death metal with unique vocal delivery, though the production was still mediocre. Then Silent Bard, a classically trained keyboardist, joined them at the end of 1993. This was a new step for Opera 9. The new lineup recorded their first EP The Triumph of the Death with even more extreme and refined material than ever, raw, morbid, sophisticated doom death including their most popular song, Born in the Grave, over 240 views on YouTube. Opera 9 walks along the occult roads of the old pagan knowledge through meditation and rites. They explore the dark meanders surrounding men traveling through old legends, forgotten traditions, and superstition. The real essence of Opera 9 is hidden in its lyrics and the music they compose. About their beliefs, Opera 9 honor the Celtic gods and the powers of nature, but, above all, they strongly believe in the power of their minds and spirits, in the energy inside everyone. Number 7 Satanic Corpse Satanic Corpse is very dark, channeled, possessed, black, satanic metal, death music. Satanic Corpse is the dark work of Belita, a spirit channeler, musician, and singer, who in essence, channels the dark forces through the body, the dark ones using the vocal and instrument vessels to create this music, this music of death. The main demon spirits in Satanic Corpse are blasphemy and infernal. Music is black metal, classical grand piano, possessed vocals, death guitars, keyboards, and synths from hell played by Belita. Belita started to play piano in classical style at the age of three and also sing in possessed languages after being visited by a satanic presence robed in black with horns. In March 2006, Belita became ill and experienced living death, and somehow returned in a somewhat alive state to answer the satanic calling, from the ashes, has arisen. Satanic Corpse Hail Satan! Number 6 Cadaveria Cadaveria was formed in 2001 by Cadaveria and Marcelo Santos, Flegias, with the intent to create a virtual space where to freely express themselves as musicians and extreme artists. In a few months, 
after having recruited some of the most talented personalities from the Italian metal scene, Killer Bob, aka John, X Necrodiat, Frank Booth, and Baron Harkonnen, aka LJ Dusk, from Dynabite, the band record the debut album The Shadows Madam, Scarlet Records, that receives exalting consents worldwide. The band's style is immediately labeled as horror metal, a definition that means all and nothing, and that therefore leaves them the chance to play from the classical heavy metal to the new progressive tendencies, passing through death, gothic and black metal. The lyrics, scheming, hermetic and introspective, mirror the dark soul and the vexed personality of the singer Cadaveria, talking about presages, existence, memory, energies, intellect, and death. Number 5 Demonic Christ Demonic Christ was formed in 1992, by Dana Duffy, then known as Satania, after the demise of the all-female death-slash-doom band Mythic. In the beginning, Dana wrote all the music and lyrics for Demonic Christ using session musicians to record the first demo Deceiving the Heavens in 1993. Aragon Amorai, Rimp, of Profanatica helped out here. The tape was spread throughout the underground with the help of Osmos Productions in Europe and Wild Rags Records in the USA. Roughly 600 copies were sold. The first 100 copies were smeared with Dana's blood. Due to the success of the demo, Demonic Christ was offered a CD deal in 1994 by Robert Detheridge of the Meat Shits for his new label, Morbid Granny which was to be pressed by and exclusively distributed by Moribund Records. At this time Dana dropped the corpse paint image and the pseudonym Satania due to the increasing trend in the black metal scene. By September there was a full lineup for the band. Demonic Christ had announced Proscriptor, Absurd, and Sabathan, X Enthroned, Bell, as well as members of Thornspawn as new session members, but these never actually played in the band, finally being replaced by members of Terrorism. Number 4 Seeds of Ibley Seeds of Ibley emerges from Iraq, a land of war and religious oppression. The band is made of four members, two girls and two guys, risking their lives in the name of black metal. Their concept is to desecrate the principles of Islam. Musically, it is black metal influenced by Bathory, Mayhem, Sodom, Venom, Slayer, and Oriental music as well, with a raw and dark sound. They are part of the Arabic anti-Islamic legion along with English, Tadniz, Saudi Arabia, Janaza, Iraq, False Allah, Bahrain, and, English, Mosque of Satan, Lebanon. Number 3. A start was an all-female black metal, black death metal band from Athens, Greece. A start first formed under the name Lit in September 1995. The original lineup included Maria Tri's Tessa Kolokouri, bass, guitar, keyboards, who subsequently took over on lead vocals, Nemesis, guitar, and Kynthia, vocals, guitar. They had Psycho Slaughter, the drummer from Greek band Invocation, play for the sessions on their demo, Dancing in the Dark Lakes of Evil, released as Lit in 1997. Their debut full-length album, Doomed Dark Years, appeared in 1998 on Black Lotus Records, two further LPS followed on the label. After lineup changes in which Nemesis and Kynthia left to be replaced by Catharsis, Keyboards, and Hybris, Guitar, they released their fourth and fifth albums on avant-garde music, the most recent of which, Demonized, was released in 2007. In 2003 the band participated in the Celtic Frost tribute album Order of the Tyrants, released by Black Lotus Records, covering the song Sorrows of the Moon. On December 30, 2013, Maria Kolokuri's husband Nick Mies released a statement, revealing that she had leukemia and was critically ill. On August 9, 2014, Mies posted another statement on behalf of his wife, saying that, while Maria had beaten the leukemia, the complications from the disease had caused her to take a turn for the worse and she was not expected to survive the day. Shortly afterwards another post was made to Tristessa's official Facebook page saying that she had just died. On August 10, 2014, 
Metal Archives reported that following Tristessa's death Astart had split up as she was the leader and only consistent member during Astart's nearly 20-year career. In September 2014 the remaining members of Astart announced that they would be reuniting and adopting their initial name, Le. Number 2 Asagram. The band's name is derived from Asag, a demon from Sumerian mythology, and Rom, German for room. Originally an international project based in both Netherlands and Norway. Became a Netherland-based band after drummer T. Kalsvart left the band in 2017. Asagram is an all-female black metal band. Asagram is the brainchild of Obscura, Hannah van den Berg. Their main lyrical theme is based on occult and Satanism. Active year 2015 to present. Number 1 Darkened Nocturne Slaughter Cult. Darkened Nocturne Slaughter Cult is a German underground black metal band from Dormagen, Germany, founded in 1997 by Unihler and Ariovist. Today the band is made up of Unihler, Bach, Git, Velnias, Git, Korn, Drums, and Adversarius, Bass. They are a bit of a rarity in that they are a black metal band fronted by a woman. Unihler's real name is Ivan Wilchinska. DNS is playing a raw and fast version of old school black metal, combined with Unihler's witchery voice, making the sound of DNS idiosyncratic. The lyrics expectorated by Unihler and Velnias are dealing with themes like Satanism and nihilism. DNS is in dead earnest with their lyrics and opinions about life and society and is not practicing show Satanism or poser misanthropy. This leads to the point that many people listening to mainstream, black, metal, still strongly linked with the mainstream society, are making fun of DNS. In a row of this DNS is still an underground band, making true black metal, which sounded like Norway's black metal in the early 90s, the second wave of black metal. DNS is deprecating all influences from other types of metal, which infiltrated black metal in former times. Cassette versions of all DNS albums have been released by KHLYST and Stabat of Ukrainian black metal band Lucifugum on their own label Propaganda. So what do you think about these female black metal band let me know in the comment, and what is your favorite black metal band? If you enjoy this videos please like share and subscribe for more videos thank you see you in the next videos.